So earlier today, we got to hear from Aaron Rodgers for the first time since he exited his four-day darkness isolation retreat. And he went on to a podcast earlier this morning. It was released with Aubrey Marcus, and it's about an hour and a half conversation. And so I just finished watching the entire thing, and they talk about countless things, sort of his experiences through this entire darkness retreat. But what I want to focus on is, of course, tied to football. That wasn't all they talked about, but with Rodgers, with his decision coming soon, I want to give you guys some quotes that I typed out after watching this, things that I think could be the most important to Packers fans, NFL fans, when it comes to sort of what Aaron Rodgers himself is contemplating, the things he's thinking about, and how he's looking at things as he gets closer and closer to making his decision. And in this podcast, he did not come out and say what he's going to do. And honestly, I am not um, super sure. I don't think I've gained any more insight on, into what I really think he's going to do. Personally, I think he will be back. I just have a feeling. But at the same time, you'll see why here. Um, I'm still not sure what he's going to decide. So this darkness retreat, as we've seen, was four days long. And he said that when it came to the third day, he decided he was going to imagine for the third day his entire life, or he was going to imagine being retired in 2023. So deciding in the next month or so that he is going to be retired. He imagined what that would be like. And he said at first it was a little scary sort of dealing with those insecurities of what could come up when he, if he were to make the decision about retiring. But then he said as he worked through all of his different kinds of things, he came out being okay if he were to retire, having a piece about retirement. But then on the fourth day, he said he um, sort of came in being okay with potentially being retired. And he decided he would imagine what it would be like coming back and playing in 2023. And after that entire day, he said he also found... Um, peace in the idea of playing. So basically, he found peace in whichever decision it is, whether it's retirement or playing. So it's not like it seems from this interview that he has an inkling towards one right now. It still seems like he is contemplating himself what he wants to do, but it feels like whatever decision he ends up making, he's going to be fine with, but we don't exactly know what that is. But here are a few quotes from this interview, and you can go check it out yourself if you want to see every single thing they talk about. But he was asked, you know, what are the reasons if he were to want to play. He said he has nothing left to prove, but he said this, I love playing and that's a good enough reason, but what's going to make it most enjoyable? You know, what do I love about the game? Competition, of course, laying it all on the line, but all the other stuff that goes before it, the mental game, Monday to Saturday, the discipline, the little advantages you try to gain through diet or sleep, meditation or acupuncture. But at the root of it is you want to be the best. You love competing and you want to dominate, but what makes this sport special is the people. It's a people business. People win championships. I know teams get the credit for it, but the people win the championships. You win championships and you have success with great people. I thought a lot about what made our best teams best, what made them a cut above the other ones. And it was a group that was super connected that really truly enjoyed each other. And that's what teams are always trying to replicate. How do you create that environment? So his reason for saying, you know, he would have peace about playing is that he just, he loves football. He loves to play, which I think we all know um, just with him the years and years he's played in Green Bay. But then when it comes to the Packers, his situation, he said this, I'm under contract with the Packers for sure. If I decide to play, first is a conversation with them. Where are you guys at? Like, honestly, I've been there 18 years and I have so much love for Green Bay. So the big thing that we're awaiting is what's going to happen in that conversation. What does Brian Gutekinds, what does his Packers front office, what are their plans going forward? And will Aaron Rodgers buy into those plans? And as he said in those quotes I just shared, he really, it's all about the people for him. We saw him want to get Aaron or Randall Cobb traded to Green Bay a few years back. That happens. It's all about the people, his relationship with Batiari, with Randall Cobb, with lots of these veteran guys as well. And I think that is sort of the, the big question, which he still doesn't seem completely sure on. He's going to ask Green Bay, like, where are you guys at? What are you guys wanting to do? And that's where I think the the uh, decision is going to come. If he wants to return and he wants to come back to Green Bay, are the Packers going to be on the same page as Rodgers, which I just don't know. Will Gudekins want to move on from some veterans that Rodgers wants to keep around because he thinks they're important for the locker room? Potentially, and I think that could lead to them deciding to split ways if they're not completely on the same page, even if he were wanting to come back to Green Bay in 2023. But that's a decision that needs to be made. Um, But basically, those are the... Biggest topics, biggest takeaways, sort of summary from that. I'm not going to make this super long because I wanted to sort of break it down. But there's still been no decision. We're still waiting what he's going to do. But he did say that he he thinks it's best to make a decision sooner rather than later. And it really feels like it, it should be happening before March 15th when free agency begins, which is only about two weeks away. And so it seems like this decision should come in the next couple weeks, which we'll see. Does he retire? Does he come back to Green Bay? Do the Packers 
decide to move forward, Brian Gudikins, the front office with Rodgers, or are they not able to come to some kind of agreement and will he be traded elsewhere? Those answers will hopefully be answered soon, but that is pretty much the breakdown of that entire interview. So feel free to subscribe if you want to see more Packers content. I cover Packers news on this channel. So if you want to stay up to date with all things Packers, I try to share it all on this YouTube channel. But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on the uh, video down below and I'll see you guys next time.